All right, what's going on guys? Vegan here, and yes, we are doing another debunk. This isn't gonna be another King Kong 19100 issue where I destroy the video, I go after the, I go after all their points, I shut down everything, we start a new plague, but today we're just gonna be going over Sci-Fi Explained's video on top five most powerful versions of Godzilla, ranking Godzilla. Oh, I'm not doing this to start anything or any hate really because I could tell that he's an actual fan of Godzilla and he's just been misinformed slightly um, and he claims that it's his opinion but he just got, I just believe he got a few facts wrong. I was hesitating on going over this video but just because of how much attention it got. It's at millions of views. It's one of the most popular Godzilla videos on the on YouTube. So I just don't want people to get misinformed when they see this video. Um, I want to correct some things. I feel like some were placed in uh, wrong places. So uh, let's just go over the video because you know, things get heated sometimes. Now, I'm aware this video came out before King of the Monsters, and he was trying to build hype for it. And, uh, he's only going over the movie versions of Godzilla, or the film version, so we're not going to bring up any comics or whatever. Um, but there are incredibly powerful versions of Godzilla in comics and in cartoons. So he says that it's just his top five list, and people, other people's are going to be different, but um, if you look at uh especially when he says that he's gonna compare the strength durability uh there are definitive feats that can rank other godzillas definitively over others so it's not really much of an opinion but it's i get it it's just his basic idea but there are definitive ways to scale each godzilla uh, he puts shin godzilla as an honorable mention which I mean, to his credit, it's the best place he could have put it as it's probably one of the most controversial versions of Godzilla. But he also says that uh, it might be capable of slicing through every single Godzilla on the list, which there isn't really much proof for. And he does say that himself, that there's a lack of info. But there's no real actual evidence that it could cut through other monsters. It doesn't he hasn't even fought another monster, which... But all we've seen it do is cut through buildings. He also brought up that people say that, oh, it, it Shin Godzilla can evolve to whatever it uh, goes up against. Which, yeah, but its evolution ability doesn't seem that powerful. He wasn't even able to adapt to the military in time. It was able to come up with a chemical that could freeze the whole thing, and he couldn't adapt to it in time. So you can't really claim that, hey, it could adapt to any version of Godzilla, especially when you talk about legendary Godzilla, where he can level the entire planet, possibly. Uh, Shin Godzilla just doesn't have those kinds of feats to back up, hey, he can slice through anything, he can evolve against anything. Shin Godzilla is just a more realistic take on the character, so... Uh, those ridiculous claims are just, there's nothing to really back it up. And people, uh, someone's brought this uh, scan up to me where it gave a list of Godzilla, Shin Godzilla's future um, form, past his fourth form where he continues to evolve. And in this, it says that his fifth form is able to fly and multiply itself, uh, can shrink just do a bunch of crazy stuff and, and what they focus on is that they say that in his hypothetical seventh form he is able to contain a small universe within his body now they say that as if it means oh there's a universe inside of it so in order to destroy it it has to destroy the small universe and within it um, that doesn't really mean what you think it means, especially when you compare it to Cyclops from Marvel Comics. Uh, his eyes contain a portal to another universe filled with a bunch of energy. That's where his lasers come from. 
So his head contains a universe. So does that mean that Cyclops is now universal? Mm, it's it's flawed logic, really, and it's not hard to debunk. And it's this is a very shaky source, and we've never actually seen him do it. So and his hypothetical eighth form says that it transcends physical law and reaching the quote-unquote level of a god and immortality. Um, we don't know what the level of god is in terms of the Shin's universe. It could mean, could he destroy a universe? Could he just destroy a planet? There's not really any concrete evidence there either. Just calling someone a god isn't enough to make him strong enough to destroy a universe. Uh, King Kai from Dragon Ball Z is a god, and he might be weaker than Yamcha from that universe. So it's just being called a god isn't good enough to really put you on a high level above everybody else. So getting to the actual list, for number five, he puts legendary Godzilla. Now, I do agree that he is stronger than Shin Godzilla in terms of feats. He brings up the nuke, the nuke feat. And also the Meteor feat, which is heavily downplayed, but it still is a really significant feat, and he does scale to it. I could agree that that a legendary Godzilla is more powerful than uh, Shin Godzilla. But for number... it's weird. He uh, For number four and three, he puts Supercharged Godzilla, which is, which is just base form Heisei Godzilla. And burning Godzilla at number three, which is pretty weird because they're the same version of Godzilla, just different forms. I guess he just f was trying to find a way to fill the list, but there are more powerful versions of Godzilla that he could have put here, like um, Godzilla versus Megaguirus Godzilla should be even stronger than uh, Legendary Godzilla because of his, his black hole feats. Um, because the black hole was able to, because in the Godzilla universe, black holes are capable of, he was able to destroy a black hole, which contains infinite density. You could have put him above legendary, but it's just weird because putting Heisei Godzilla, then burning Godzilla, it's like making a top 10 for, uh, Dragon Ball Super, and then putting, um, base Goku at number 5, Super Saiyan Goku at number uh, four, Super Saiyan 2 at 3, like, it just is kind of redundant. You, you could just say, alright, Goku's number 2 or 3, and then, you know, move on to Vegeta, the next character, or whatever. Um, it's just kind of weird how he put the forms in two different slots when I didn't think that was necessary. So, he goes over Heisei Godzilla for 4 and 3 on the list. And he says that, uh, he gives off the implication that, uh, when, uh, Burning Godzilla, um, goes into his meltdown mode and, uh, explodes and destroys the planet, that that's his highest level of power. Just because he doesn't bring up as many feats that Heisei Godzilla has, like, um, he's able to produce enough energy, more energy than ever seen since the Big Bang, which would include hypernovas and quark noga novas that are even more powerful than supernovas so godzilla can easily emit that much energy to level solar systems uh even in the manga god in the manga heisei godzilla was capable of of impaling space godzilla who was capable of lighting up the entire universe just by existing which makes him multi-galaxy level at least he just, I just think he didn't bring up as many feats that Heisei Godzilla has. So for number two, he puts Final Wars Godzilla. Now, before he started talking about Final Wars Godzilla, he said that um, he believes that Final Wars and Burning Godzilla can be switched because people heavily debate about it. But that would still mean that he thinks that base form Heisei Godzilla is weaker than Final Wars Godzilla, which isn't true when you look at the feats. Heisei Godzilla's been able to tank multiple asteroids hitting him. As I said, he could emit energy as strong as supernovas that can level solar systems. He can produce enough energy to light up the universe. And 
and even a single one of his cells were able to enter a black hole, capable of entering a reality destroying black hole and come and survive it and tang multiple supernovas while inside that black hole. Heisei Godzilla is easily on those high universal levels. And that's not uh, counting his burning form, which makes him even more powerful. Now, he says that he believes Final Wars Godzilla is even more powerful because since it was Godzilla's finale, Final Wars, that Toho meant for Final Wars Godzilla to be stronger than any Godzilla beforehand, that's, I haven't really seen any solid statements from any Toho directors or anything that said that, oh yeah, we want this Godzilla to be the strongest one ever. I mean, Final Wars Godzilla still has really powerful feats about uh, taking on a bunch of monsters and one-shotting Gigan and able to kill Kaiser Ghidorah, which he claims that Toho said that uh, Kaiser Ghidorah is the most powerful version of Ghidorah um, at that time. Even, But I believe Heisei Godzilla, Heisei Ghidorah is even more powerful than him just because of how Heisei Ghidorah scales off of Heisei Godzilla. But Final Wars was able to destroy the Gorath asteroid, which as I said multiple times is 6,200 times the mass of Earth, which would easily make him dwarf star level. But even if you compare him to Heisei Godzilla's casual feats of, of being able to produce hypernova levels of energy that could level a solar system, and even one of his cells were able to tank multiple stars while inside of a reality-destroying black hole, it doesn't hold up. And people have brought up that when Final Wars Godzilla got his uh, Exilian or Kaiser uh, power-up at the end of the film to kill Kaiser Ghidorah, that um, one of, that the space, that the Exilian leader, leader stated that that amount of energy would make him capable of, of ruling the universe, which doesn't really mean that he could destroy the universe, it just means that he could rule it. It's like when um, in Dragon Ball Z, again, I'm comparing Dragon Ball Z again, but um, in Dragon Ball Z, where Frieza um, was stated multiple times being able to conquer the universe or rule the universe. It doesn't mean that he's universal. It just means that he has enough power to rule the entire universe. He's not going to destroy it. So that's not really solid evidence that Final Wars Godzilla can destroy the universe. And even if he could, uh, Heisei Godzilla can still withstand that type of power before so final war shouldn't really be as strong as heisei godzilla and at number one he puts godzilla earth now i understand why he did as he has really impressive feats um and he's even able to surpass time itself but um, there's actually an argument to say that Heisei burning Godzilla is actually more powerful than Godzilla Earth. If he's talking about base Heisei Godzilla, then yes, I think just normal Heisei Godzilla um, is weaker than Godzilla Earth. But Godzilla burning Godzilla's atomic breath, his infinite, his infinite heat ray has been stated to increase his power infinite times each time he uses it so that means that godzilla burning godzilla gets an infinite times power boost every time he uses it which he uses it at least four times he spams the thing you know how heisei is he spams his blast sometimes or he uses it a lot at least but that would mean that as i've explained in my other videos that this Heisei Godzilla, that um, Godzilla Earth is able to surpass an infinite level of uh, fourth of 3D dimensional power, making him fourth dimensional. That would mean that if Heisei Godzilla is able to destroy the universe, which he is capable of doing, that then he could become fifth, sixth, even seventh dimensional just by sh each time he shoots his atomic breath. 
which is pretty crazy. And I'm not, but I do agree that he put it in the number one spot, but Heisei Godzilla just has some crazy potential. And um, I'll be sure to cover him in another video thoroughly. But um, I think this video is all right. There's just some misconceptions in there that I just wanted to talk about. Just because it's so popular, you know, we don't want to misinform people. But um, anyways, this has been This Debunked. I hope you guys liked it. Please subscribe. Um, I'll be sure to talk about more versions of Godzilla in the future. And... Thanks for watching.